Hey everybody, back with another quick figure review today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Robin figure based off the uh, Teen Titans cartoon from uh, I would say about five years back now. And that's when I picked up this figure when I was younger. Um, so I don't have the packaging to show off or anything. But I always really really like the cartoon and really like this um, style of Robin. You know with the more spiky anime hair and the bigger kind of anime eyes um, and it was a really really great show um, the only problem with this figure overall is the fact that since it's such unique in design um, it kind of alienates itself from standing with any of the figures you know it's not going to fit in with your DCUC or your DC Direct or anything like that it's kind of in a scale of its own we're going to do some size comparisons later and the thing that really sucks is they only made a Beast Boy and a Star and um, a Cyborg. Um, they never made a Starfire or a Raven. Otherwise, I would have bought all four figures. Well, all five of them, including this guy, um, to have a Teen Titans display because I really, really like the animated show. Great, great show. I need to go back and buy it on DVD. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy to have this figure because I really like this design of Robin. Um, but it just really does suck that they never made the rest of the Titans. But getting under articulation, his head goes 360, his arms go 360, but they're hindered by the cape because uh, it's a plastic molded piece. He rotates the upper bicep, he has up and down in the elbow, and 360 at the hands. Same with this arm. No waist articulation, his legs go up, knee and foot. And he's not on any ball joints or anything, so he just does go up and down, no in and out. Um, you'll see the cape is one solid piece, it can become pop off. This is because it has a gimmick. I hope you can hear this. When you press this button here, you get... Titans go! Titans go! I think you can hear he only says the one phrase, he says Titans go. And the voice from the show as well. It's okay, um, but the cape's really ugly. Um, and I wish it was just a cloth cape or just a standard, you know, um, kind of rubber or something. Um, and wasn't this big hunk of melt of sculpted plastic. But it doesn't look bad because I don't think I'm gonna display him with his back to the wall or anything, with his face to the wall. Um, and overall, I think this is a pretty nice figure. He does come with a few accessories. He comes with, um, you know, it's not a batarang, so I guess I'll call it a Robin orang. I always really like the design of these in the show. He comes with his little um, communicator. No detail paint or anything. But every accessory looks pretty nice. And last but not least, he comes with his... Um, you know, grappling hook, which can easily fit into his hand. So that's pretty nice. Um, I like the accessories it comes with, and they're all in scale with the figure as well. But speaking of scale, let's do a couple of size comparisons. Because like I said at the f um, start of the review, the problem I have with this figure is he doesn't really fit in with any of the figure lines. Um, let's take a look um, next to a kind of 95 animated series Batman. Um, if he'll stand, he's not going to stand, but you can see how taller Robin is and how much like bulkier he is in his features, like his head and stuff. Um, let's take a look next to the Spider-Man Classics Series 1 Spidey, um, which people call the McFarlane Spider-Man. This would also represent your kind of standard Marvel legend. Um, Spidey has a lot of trouble standing. Um, you can see he's about an inch taller. And last but not least, you kind of um, a little bit of a bulkier figure, um, being Bane and all, but um, which would kind of be your, I wouldn't say your average, but um, I'm kind of using this guy to represent um, a DCUC. Um, but also, you know, how 
Bane has the kind of smaller, more in scale head with the rest of his body, and Robin has the kind of more chunkier, like I say, anime looking style. Um, so I don't think this Robin fits in with your other figures, but I really, really like the Teen Titan show, so I'm still really happy to have this Robin. Um, but I'm just so disappointed they didn't make the rest of the figures. Um, and I don't want an incomplete set of just Cyborg and Beast Boy. Um, I might pick them up someday, I highly doubt it though. Um, just in case you don't have any of those figures, here's your kind of standard um, kind of can of um, soda or drink, whatever. Um, and overall, I, I like this figure a lot, but he's, he's really hard to recommend picking up. If you see him really cheap and you really like the cartoon, um, I would recommend it. Um, like I say, the only place you're probably going to find these guys is somewhere like eBay or something right now. Because the figures are getting a bit of age on them, maybe five years or so. So I hope you liked this review. Hope it wasn't too boring. If there's something um, that you didn't like, comment and tell me what I can improve on. Um, and if you like this review, check out my channel for other f um, figures comics and um, DVDs, Blu-rays. Um, I reviewed this figure because I try and review figures that nobody's done before. So check out my channel if you're looking for a more unique review. And I'll see you guys later.